Hello students. Today we are going to learn how to find Young's modulus of a material of a beam using flexure method. So the apparatus we are using an iron beam whose Young's modulus we are going to measure and in the, the length of this iron beam is 100 cm. We are taking 100 cm means this sharp edge to Next, with help of slight calipers, you have known the use of slight calipers before. My first video, follow the list. The depth of this beam. This is the depth. Take 3 to 5 observation at different places for accuracy. Take 3 to 5 observation for more accurate result. So, you can see in my copy, I have taken breadth, 3 observation. This is my main scale reading, this is vernier scale reading and this is total. Next, you need to calculate only one mean. Mean reading for breadth as well as depth. Since this slide calipers has no error, so this mean reading will be our final result scale to be considered while taking reading. So what we have to do that we need to put OX. Each OX are 500 gram. Okay. We need to put OX at this hanger. And you will see this sharp edge, this sharp edge should be focused through this lens of this microscope. Okay, so the focus position will be displaced whenever we are putting loads. The displacement is so less that it can't be seen in normal eyes. That is why we are using microscope. Okay, so the change is microscopic change. And to get that change, we are using this vertical scale. So at first, at zero load, we need to focus this surface. It will give you an inverted image over here. So if you can see, the surface look like this. Okay, so through lens, you will be able to see like this. An inverted image of this ages okay. to see and confirm this focus position at first you need to focus for zero load you have to check that it is we are going to put load over here and we are going to catch the depression over here by telescope so putting our first load Whenever you are putting the load, you should be very careful about the position of hanger. We can't disturb the position of the hanger. Okay. So, if we are putting load, of course the focus position that will be displaced, it to bring down. It has gone up. Actually, the hanger is going downwards, but the image is inverted. So, I am getting it upwards. So next, again after doing the focus only, I have to take data from horizontal scale. So you all know how the traveling microscope works, how to take reading from traveling microscope. This is the, this small portion is vernier scale and this is linear scale or main scale, runs in centimeter unit and here one smallest division is one centimeter divided 20 number of divisions. So Next, wherever this first reading of vernier indicates, that is the main scale reading. The first division of vernier that is marked here by arrow sign shows you or indicates you the linear scale reading or main scale reading. And next, there are several number of division. In this vernier scale, 50 number of divisions here. 
so this within this 50 number of divisions we have to find the cleared coincidence in between mean and vernier so which one maybe 10 maybe 20 maybe 25 maybe 11 which one is clearly coinciding with mean scale that is our vernier scale reading so one by one i have done all the loads except this one this is the last load 3000 gram load Okay, so next this is our last reading. We need to focus again and take the last reading. Just now how I have done the loading part. Same that way we have to unloading also. We have to release one by one load. Whenever we are going to release one by one load, we will find change in focus position again. So we need to bring again focus position and take the reading. So this is the last part of my unloading table. So I am releasing the last load and the hanger is in zero load position right now. So again I need to focus it and take the reading from here. You can see that whenever I am uh, putting loads, the readings are thoroughly decreasing. And whenever releasing loads, the readings are thoroughly increasing. The increasing time and the decreasing time at same load, suppose 1000 gram, it is 9.45, it is 9.40. But for 1500, it is 9.25, it is also 9.25. Yes, if increasing and decreasing time, both reading are same, that is really good. But if you find little bit change, just a slight change, it is also acceptable. But if you find a bigger change than increasing and decreasing, then there must be some error. You need to revise your experiment. And one more thing that is, the last reading, the 3000 load reading here is my last reading. For the last load, the increasing reading and the decreasing reading, both will be same. Because whenever we are going to release one load, so from 3000 it will become 2500 gram. So, last reading will be same for all, whatever may be the last load reading is.